hello welcome back to my channel god bless you for stopping by in our lesson today we are going to learn how to make beaded ball earring i am making this for a friend as a surprise please subscribe to be a part of this wonderful family if today is your first time like this video and share the essence of this channel is to impact our lives positively and so feel free to leave a positive a genuine comment and so for the beaded ball we are going to use 30 beads and then i have here i think this is zero point i think this is 0 0.4 or so i've forgotten the millimeter of the the fishing line but you can use any that you have provided you can be going through a bead more than twice i would also be using this flat is it run nose yes run nose plier and then this thing and these two beads but these two beads they are not part of the 30 and i'll have this earring so this is what we are going to make i know it's beautiful so we are going to start with five beads i already have a video on beaded ball keychain that was i think my either my first or my second video that i published that one i used quite bigger beads the beads i used in that video they were quite bigger than this one you can check that one too up so i have my five beads here i'll make sure that the ends of the cord meet so that i don't waste it then i will add four beads to it i know now or in future a member of my church would watch and may be tempted to crucify me hey in my family that is my mother line i am the only adventist and if you know my mother she is a fashionista she likes to look good in these things so i make them for her i see no reason why i should not or i cannot and so please if you are watching this as an adventist this is my world i am now adding three because we are making circles of five i already have two here so i am adding three to it then i will enter the next bead and add three again i don't know why maybe because i am a master of this design now unlike before it used to be a problem for me but now i can make it even with an eye closed and so don't don't give up don't relent and you can do it and i am so happy i get so happy whenever people share their works with me on instagram and whatsapp as well so i'm only entering one b and then adding three to make circles of five i am at the last end so i will be entering these two beads and then i would add two because i already have three here so i am going to add two so out of the 30 we now have two four six eight ten we've used 20 we are left with 10 
so i'll enter the next bead on my left and then i'll add three we are still making circles of five so i'll add three and then enter the next two the next two and then i would add two i want to believe you are following the lesson closely then you enter the next two and then add two again I am now left with three. So we will go into the next two, which is going to be the last of the twos. And then we will add two. So as you can see, I have nine beads here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is going to be the divider. When I put it here, I would now have five here, five there. But before I do that, I am going to put this one. It has something here if i get the name i will put it on the screen for you i just bought it i didn't ask of the name so i will put it here to secure the bead and then using my cutter i am going to cut to reduce the length so i'm going to put the second bead to make it two then let me cut it a little further then I will bend this one to form something like this but before I would add the earring to it I'm not a professional in this because I don't usually make it but I want to empower you so that you stop buying these things you make your own or you begin selling them to earn a living so I have put that one in the middle and so before I add the last bead I will enter this I'm um, here I'm in this green here I'll enter one, two, three, so that I'll be at the opposite side. And now I would pick the last bead and cross. So the next thing is to bead through, like I've been doing with you all along. I will bead through because the thread is very thin. When you bead through, you are going to have the work very firm. But if you leave it like this, it is going to be soft. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. I hope you've really loved and enjoyed it. In the comment section, let me hear your view on this lesson. And so family, when you say a prayer, remember I need one. Pray for me as well.